Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson and really looking forward to bringing you this World Cup round of 16 match. It's Brazil facing Ghana. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Danilo starts with Alexandro as fullbacks. Fabinho plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the contest begins. Promising sequence. Just again from the flank. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Rafinha. Well, not hard to read that pass. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's very much a confidence player, and at the moment his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games, and I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. And Brazil could get in behind the defence. What a start they made! Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then it's a clinical finish from Neymar. The outcome was never in doubt, was it? You just knew he would score from there. So underway again here, one nil the score. Isahaku, Andre Ayu, on a pass that lacks quality, and they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Owusu. Just made sure nothing came of that. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Andre Ayu waiting to pounce here. A 
That's a fine looking run by Gabriel Jesus. Can he put it away? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Vinicius Jr. Body in the way. Options in the middle. Preferring to go infield. Not all that convincing defensively. Fred just couldn't capitalise there. Well, Brazil, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Can they convert? Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. Ziku, Elisha Owusu, Fatawu Isahaku. And he keeps going. Opportunity it is. Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper and really should have been able to. Well, great read there to intercept. Will he finish? Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. He's given it away. Fatawu Isahaku. Space on the flank. Well, possibilities in the centre. Perfect tackle. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And so the match is underway. So the second half underway, and Brazil have the lead, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. And running it back. Not the best challenge, free kick. Oh, he's given it away. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, he gave us a go with power, but he might be having second thoughts about that now. Well, as you said, he's gone for power, but he's not even close in the end. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Lost possession. Mohamed Kudus. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Here it is now, a substitution.
defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Neymar. And Neymar! Well, that's how to beat your opponent. But a good piece of tidying up. Now we're into the final half hour. Might be able to get in behind the defence. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. This could be the equaliser. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, sometimes they come off for you. Sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there. And as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. So a personnel change then. Kofi Cherry and a fine tackle. Alexandro. Oh, he's put it just a fraction wide of the post. And they will make the change now. advantage with them referee says play on Richarlison is this the moment oh that's a fine save time for a change then Playing it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. A really vital interception. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well read to put an end to that attack. Kamaldin Suleimana. He's given it straight to the opposition. And the perfect position to read it. Elisha Owusu. Well, possession seeded. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And a body in the way. And time for the change now. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. Not messing around with that clearance. Breaking at pace. And he might be through here. It's opened up for him. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him.
Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. And there's the referee's whistle, and Brazil have made it through to the quarterfinals. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win, but they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.